victims of murdered children in South Florida are calling for action. Today, they march to the state attorney's office. And Local 10 News reporter Janice Fernandez, she's live in Miami. And Janice, what are they demanding police do? Well, Constance, they're demanding that police be more aggressive in their investigations, but they're actually not pointing the finger at police. They're pointing the finger at community leaders, saying that police cannot solve these crimes with the limited resources they have. My cousin Patrick dead on 135th Street in Opelika. I am sick and I am tired. They held up signs with pictures of their loved ones, Randall Robinson, Brian Herrera, and those not pictured today whose lives were lost due to senseless gun violence. No parent should ever have to bury their child. More than a dozen people stood outside the state attorney's office demanding more aggressive investigations by police and demanding the state attorney's office enforce the 1020 life law. We cannot allow the death of our young people to be the new normal because it is not okay. This peaceful protest was led by Tangela Sears. Sears, a community activist, lost her son last year. Because enough is enough. Yes. And it's now endangering the officers as well. Yes. Because no one is being arrested. They're able to just go out and shoot anybody and get away with it. Supporting the group was PBA President John Rivera, saying he understands the frustration these families are feeling and blames the lack of arrest on being understaffed and not having enough manpower. We only have so many detectives. Homicide has a, a gazillion leads. They can close so many more murders. They just don't have enough hours in a day. So that comes from the 29th floor downtown. And again, that protest remained peaceful. It lasted about two hours and it just wrapped up a few minutes ago. And they plan on doing more like this in the near future. Reporting live in Miami, Janice Fernandez.